I had posted on my story section of my channel, um, I think it was about two two weeks ago now, uh, this design feature that I had done. And I didn't make this up myself. I actually saw it on another channel, and I thought it was very, very cool. Um, I've seen these before, these type of designs. There's a lot of them out there that this would be a great little feature to have when you come into your house, you know, like... In their foyer area to have something like that um, it doesn't have to be this type of tile this is a very cheap ceramic tile it's a glazed clay and it's just basically a clay a clay tile if you see the edge of it um, with a glaze over it so it's a very cheesy tile because I didn't want to spend a lot of money although I spent about $30 on all this tile to make this happen um, but it could be marble it could be granite it could be anything you want it to be and this is typically going to be a 12 by 12 tile you could do this with. Um, I have 12 by 12, but I also have 12 by 24. It doesn't really matter because you can cut that in half and still make it happen. So I want to I want to go through because um, it was mm, challenging. I'm going to put it like that. It was challenging to make this happen in a lot of different ways because the video that I saw was not in English, and so I didn't understand the measurements and all that stuff that he was going through for all the cuts to make this happen and I want to go through that there's another design also that I saw and I thought it was very cool as well I don't know what this application would be for in theory you could do this in an entire bathroom floor you could do it in a shower floor it would be very cool I used a 12 by 12 sorry 12 by 24 tile uh, for these gray pieces because I could not find black um, in black it would have shown up a lot better but um, and they're different texture also this uh, ceramic tile has a little glossy finish where this has a matte finish and this one has a texture um, ish to it so the issue that I had was that I decided I'm going to cut see this glaze clay I decided that I'm going to cut these like so, right? You would think that would be easy. What I, so, basically in the other video that I saw, he was using 12 by 12 tile. And the reason why it's important to have a square tile, when you cut one of these, you're going to have to cut on a diagonal. So you're going to go from tip to tip on a square, and these aren't square. And that's why it's important to cut this in half. When you cut one of these, the diagonal piece that you're going to end up with, one diagonal piece is going to be one of these tile. The posing tile, and this doesn't quite go there to there because it's not from this square. The posing tile is going to be one of these side pieces. You're going to have to cut the opposite of whatever the, the posing color is. So don't make the mistake of cutting a whole bunch of these and thinking, in other words, this this size and this shape and all this stuff um, to the white tile as opposed to the gray tile is not going to be the same. This is going to be flipped over. I don't mean that literally. I don't mean this tile flipped over. I mean when you cut the white tile, you're going to do the posing type of cut, right? So the mistake that I made to begin with is that I cut all of my tile in one direction. You see? So all of my white tile and all of my gray tile ended up getting cut in that one direction. So I had a whole bunch of these facing one way, whereas you directionally you have facing these in opposing ways. Which means that your white tile has to be um, in opposition to your gray. I know that seems like really, really <laughs> rudimentary, but that's a mistake that I made. I just cut a whole bunch of tile based on one pattern of one gray tile. So all my white tile did not fit. So in my in the first star that I did, um, which I'll show a picture of, 
all of that tile ended up being, I had to flip the, all the gray tile around and it was the clay facing up, which should have been the white. And when I realized my mistake, because I'd already pre-cut those without putting them together, when I realized my mistake, that's when I started doing the white tile in opposition to what the gray tile was. That's the biggest issue. I'm going to give you the math on this, because the math on this matters if you're trying to do opposing tiles and all that stuff. Um, so I'm going to give you the math on this to make it easy. That's six inches on one end, from end to end at six inches. On your longest side, which is bottom side, you're 16. 16 and a sixteenth, to be exact. And then on this side here, if I go all the way to the end, you're right at about 12, yeah, 12 and a half. So 12 and a half, 6, and then 16 and a sixteenth. And you can forget the sixteenth part. Just call it 16. Okay, so I got 6 there. I got 12 and a half. I lied. And I got 16. But that's not how I did it. I'm showing you an easier way. The way I did it, is I, as I saw in that video, I cut this on a diagonal. So if I were to show you that. So there you go. If I cut that on a diagonal the way it sets down, right? Then I'm doing my measurement off of this cut piece. Again, that one doesn't exist. Let me get in better lighting. That one doesn't exist. So we're using this piece. Say this was cut already, right? So I'm doing my measurement off of this corner by six inches. When I do that measurement, sorry. When I do this measurement off of six inches off of this corner to that corner, that's where I end up with my cut. So, uh, let me see. What you end up with basically is you end up with this long piece, which is this, right? So that's going to be that one. Um, and then this one would be the filling piece that I showed you over there. When you put them together, you're just putting them together like this to start with. So forget these fill-in pieces for a minute. So basically when you get the cuts together that's all you're doing is putting them together like this. You're just matching up the white one and the opposite dark one together as straight as possible along with these sides as straight as possible into the center wherever those are. And they're going to pose each other naturally because that's how they were cut naturally. Right? On the posing tile is all you're doing with these final pieces. And that's basically it. If you don't get the cuts exactly perfect, it's okay because you're not going to be matching these up up against each tile. There's going to be a spacer in there inevitably. So you're going to have a 16th spacer inside of there. Um, I suggest 1 8th. You're going to put on a 1 8th spacer which will give you more wiggle room. This is the same number all the way around. All of these numbers match up. So that's a 5 inch cut. 5 inch distance, that's 5 inches, and that's 5 inches. And these numbers are just kind of arbitrary. You can make those numbers anything you want. But this is this is a 5 inch square diamond. That's a 5 inch square diamond. That's all that is. You can make it 6 if you wanted to. It really wouldn't matter. And then, these are just square, square cuts. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, those are 5 by 5 also. Yep, they are. So just 5 by 5 all the way around is all you're doing there with those square cuts. 
but the same thing applies the same rule applies here as far as spacing goes it's not going to be butting up against you know if you're doing this for a real application you're going to be putting spacers there anyway so you can manipulate those lines a little bit so I wasn't trying to make it perfect although those three are um, but is it is important to have three different colors that's very important on this design and that's why I had this wood plank tile and these other tile going on so just a fun little project just something to do there's a lot of other designs out there that you can find on YouTube that people are doing very skillfully these are my two favorite I did a pinwheel design and that pinwheel design was very cool too and I like that and I just threw that together with a bunch of these hope that helps somebody hope uh, look at that upside down uh, hope that's something cool that you can you guys can integrate into some type of tile project that you have and uh, have fun Hey, if you enjoyed that video and you learned something, consider being a Patreon member. Five, ten, fifteen dollars a month would help me greatly produce more videos. I make nothing from YouTube at all. If you're gonna call me for advice, please donate fifty dollars for thirty minutes. My link to my PayPal and my Patreon account is down below. And if you haven't already, Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get immediate notifications as soon as I post videos. And thank you very much for your support.